Hi, it's Sarah Rose. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. This week I wanted to talk to you about manifesting. This is a pretty popular topic. Um, if you are in sort of the metaphysical community at all or just even on social media, um, that's gained a lot of popularity since the book The Secret came out probably a little over 10 years ago. But um, what you may not know about manifesting is that there's actually a formula that helps you really fine tune your abilities so you can become laser focused and create what you truly desire in a faster and more efficient way. So when I talk about manifesting, I'm referring to the ability to create things in your physical experience through thought process and intention and awareness and things like that. So I'm actually hosting um, a masterclass on this coming up. It's manifestalifeyoulove.com and that's a masterclass you can pre-register for right now. I don't have a specific date or time just yet, but I am taking um, pre-registration. So if that interests you after this video, not now, but after this video, go to manifestalifeyoulove.com and go ahead and pre-register for that. That's going to be coming up very soon. But, okay, so back to manifesting. I started on my own self-study journey of this several years ago, and it was long before I ever read the book or watched the movie The Secret or read any law of attraction principles or anything like that. I was already starting to do this work, and then I realized, oh, that's what I've been doing this whole time. Um, so it was pretty exciting to watch those pieces come together, but then actually take it further and break the process down um, so I could really fine tune it, um, sort of like a science, and really see the, the steps to take to really master manifesting. And um, this has been, it's an ongoing process. There's lots of tests and trials and things that you do, trials and tribulations that I've been through to, to see exactly what works and what doesn't work and really um, gain clarity on the state of mind and the thought process and things like that that go along with manifesting. It goes beyond just like attracts like that the law of attraction is based on. There's actually what I've discovered as 11 pillars to manifesting, which is sort of like a formula and they're very strategic and very technical um, techniques that if you apply these, you can catapult your manifesting abilities with precision and um, f um, efficiency and, and manifest things a lot quicker into your experience. So we're always manifesting, right? So whether you know it or not, you're manifesting either by default or once you become conscious of the process and you start to apply these principles and these techniques, then you're manifesting on purpose. And you're not gonna, it's a really exciting experience because everything's not always gonna go your way because so much of it is based off of your own vibration. And we carry so many latent vibrations that are sort of dormant in our experience or sort of things we sort of brush under the rug or we don't pay attention to, which will manifest into our experience um, eventually. So it's actually a process of you know, self-study, like I was saying, but also self-healing at the same time because things will start to come to the surface and manifest over and over again until you're able to release them. So it is a self-healing journey at the same time, which a lot of teachers of um, law of attraction and things like that don't mention that, but it is, uh, it is basically, it is. You have to be able to raise your vibration in general in order to manifest more of what you truly desire in your life. So again, I go into that uh, 11 pillars, 11 strategies or techniques that absolutely when applied will manifest, um, help you catapult your manifesting abilities and become more of a master at it. Um, and I'll mention the website again is manifestalifeyoulove.com. So I just wanted to share with you my own experience and then offer you a little test for you to try. And so you can test the universe and see for yourself you know, your results and gain a little bit of confidence in your own manifesting abilities. Maybe you've already started out on manifesting, but you, um, your, your results are sort of maybe a little sporadic or a little hit or miss, and you wanted to learn how to fine tune those and really 
nail it a lot more often, or maybe you're just brand new to manifesting altogether. I'll just share with you a little few experiences of mine, and then I'll offer you this test. You can go out and do um, try this, and then come back to this video on YouTube, bookmark this, or save it to your favorites list or something like that, so you can come and post your comments below the video, because I'd love to hear how it goes for you. So when I first started manifesting several years ago, I would test with little things. One time I, um, I asked for a yellow rose and a hummingbird. Okay, universe, if this really works, I want a yellow rose and I want a hummingbird. And within a couple of hours, I was on YouTube searching for something and all of a sudden a yellow rose popped up on the, um, on the trailer of a YouTube video. And that was within a couple of hours of me asking for it. And I was like, oh, this is getting good. I was getting excited. And then a, couple, a day went by and I still didn't get the hummingbird. Another day went by and I didn't get the hummingbird. And I maintained a state of, I guess I can, I can just only, not a state of needing the hummingbird, but a state of hopeful expectation of the hummingbird. I knew it was coming, it was on its way to me. And that's a very key mindset, a very key place to be in order to manifest. Um, but I stayed in that and I just knew it. I knew it was around any corner at any time. It was on its way to me. And so one day I was um, two and a half days later. So it didn't come to two days to me, but two and a half days uh, the hummingbird came to me and I was sitting in my vehicle parked going to the gym. And before I got out of the vehicle, I decided to close my eyes and do a quick meditation because I started to do that as part of my regular routine. I would, um, you know, instead of just running errands, getting out of the car, running to the bank, getting out of the car, going to the grocery store with all this running around, I would wanted to stay calm and balanced and focused and in the present moment, another key aspect of manifesting. So I would start to med uh, meditate in my car and close my eyes for 30 seconds to a minute just sitting like this quietly in my car um, for 30 seconds up to maybe a couple minutes before I would open up my eyes and then go about my errand that I was running. So I did that when I parked and was getting ready to go to the gym. And the second I opened up my eyes, no lie, as soon as I opened my eyes, right off to the left, through my car window, at perfect eye level, right outside my car, next to the hood, was a hummingbird. Just floating right there, perfect line of sight, as if to tell me, okay, Sarah, we got your intention and it's delivered and we're paying attention, whoever, the universe, my angels, my guides, higher self, God, whatever you wanna call it. It was an amazing experience. I was so excited. I was exhilarated to get that confirmation and it was almost, I mean, it was so perfectly delivered. I was on cloud nine, obviously. And so then this spiraled into, okay, what was I doing that worked and starting to learn when I'm blocking my manifestation and when I'm allowing my manifestation to manifest. So a key thing here to point out is that I started with a yellow rose and um, a hummingbird. These are not two things that I have a lot of resistance about. They're not two things that I find hard to believe. They're not two things that I have um, an, a neediness for. They would just be nice to have. I'd be nice to see a hummingbird. And that's another mindset, another energy that you have to be in in order to manifest. If you're in a state of neediness of it or needing it too much or a state of lack full, um, my lack where you where you where you really feel the lack of its presence more than you feel the excitement that it's coming to you you're just going to emanate more of that lackfulness or more of that neediness versus actually attracting what it is that you want so again that does fall back within the line of like attracts like but there's strategies behind that of how to get out in front of it so that way you can really start to attract on a mastery level and so um I challenge you that that's the key point here is that they are things you don't necessarily need to have. So I want to challenge you to set your own test for the universe and think of something that you want to create or attract into your life. Maybe take some time to visualize it, state it out loud or write it down in your journal 
and get into that hopeful anticipation and that state of knowing that it's right around the corner for you. And again, you're not going to want to, if, if, if you need um, money right now and you're short on finances, asking the universe for money, if you're in a state of needing this or a lack of a mindset, is going to be a lot harder to overcome that resistance in order to manifest what you're looking for. So you want to go with something that you have the least amount of resistance with. So you want to go with something easy and something that you are not emotionally connected to one way or the other, so you don't have any of those negative emotions going on because that's gonna lower your vibration. When you raise your vibration is when those things are gonna to come to you quicker. So and you, can, you can always tell this by how you're feeling. If you're attempting to manifest, but you're doing it from a place of um, feeling uneasy or worried about it not coming to you or the fact that you just need it so bad then that energy that feeling that you get that emotional feeling right there is a clear sign that you should get off that topic altogether because thinking about it in that way is lowering your vibration and is only going to attract more of the negative that you're trying to get away from so it's actually without some of these techniques, these uh, what I call the 11 pillars to manifesting, without some of these techniques and this background knowledge on how to apply them, you could actually get yourself in a little bit more, um, a little bit more sticky situations than you really want if you're manifesting and affirming over and over again that you've got money in the bank and you have all this money in the bank, but you're doing it from a place of neediness and lackfulness you're actually just creating more neediness to have money in the bank you're actually doing yourself a disservice when you're approaching it from that mindset so it's it's very fine it's very about fine-tuning your vibration and your intention during this process so when you start to manifest consciously you're taking into consideration your focused awareness your intention the feeling that you're you have while you're doing it and there's again like I said, 11 different um, strategies that I'll share in that masterclass if that's something that you're interested in. But go ahead for now, pick something that you wanna test, ask the universe for it, know that it's coming to you, and make it simple, make it easy, and don't try to figure out where it's coming from or how it's gonna to get to you. I said a yellow rose. I didn't have it set in my mind that it had to be a physical rose, and that it had to be, you know, like a plant or a flower, I mean, a flower given to me, it came to me in the form of a video image, okay? So release the need to try to figure out how it's coming to you. The hummingbird could have came the same way, it could have came in a painting, it could have came in a movie, it could have came by someone standing next to me in the grocery line store talking about a hummingbird, it could come to me in a million different directions, but it, this one happened to come to me as a real life hummingbird about three inches from my face outside my car window. So it was definitely impactful. So it can come in a bunch of different ways. I'm just saying release how it's going to come to you. Know it. Believe it. Anticipate it. Don't need it. Just anticipate it. And I welcome you to try this challenge and let me know how it goes. Feel free to... If you're watching this on YouTube, post your comments in the YouTube video. If you happen to be watching this on my blog, there's comments below that you can make via Facebook or on my blog page, and I would love your feedback. But more importantly, I would love for you to join me in the upcoming masterclass and learn those 11 pillars to manifesting those techniques that, if implemented, I guarantee are going to help catapult your manifesting abilities super efficiently and with laser focus and you're going to be able to manifest a lot quicker and also just with greater efficiency so i can't stress that enough it's a very exciting process and eventually you know once you start to learn how to do it you're going to be able to start to manifest things that are not you know just are you know a yellow rose or a hummingbird are these arbitrary things but things that actually mean something to you that'll help your life in a meaningful way i've been able to manifest an 
a very loving relationship. I've been able to manifest a six-figure income working from home. Um, all of these things were intentional. These were not happened by accident. These were things that I've watched myself manifest and saw the synchronicities of how they all sort of developed and fit like a perfect puzzle piece and started to fall into my lap, not without effort and not, I guess I would take the word effort back, not without inspired action on my part, um, but nonetheless, um, it, um, they materialize into my experience. I manifested yoga retreat opportunities in that way, which I'll, I'll go into some of those more examples in the masterclass. So again, this is Sarah Rose and happy Wellness Wednesday. I will um, hope to see you soon. I look forward to your comments and um, hopefully we you'll join me again next week for Wellness Wednesday. Thank you. Namaste.